how can we create play food, playful food? How can we create um, playful food in a sustainable and healthy way? So we know that children are our future. We know that and we are very passionate about, about that. Um, so we want to stimulate creativity. We want to stimulate curiosity about food. And we want to do that in a healthy, sustainable, but also in a playful way. And um, that's the challenge for you. It's, a, it's sort of a wide challenge, uh, but uh, we think that you're all creative people uh, and we want all of your um, ideas and thoughts if you're interested. That's it. Thank you. So we have a few challenges, as you probably can imagine. Uh, the biggest challenge that we really want to help with is the behavioral change that needs to happen in order for people to start eating insects. And that is where you guys come in. And of course also there are other companies that are going to want to do this and are going to have the same approach. So how do we differentiate from them and how do we create products that the customers are actually going to want to eat? So it means that a lot of empty bottles are ending up somewhere where we don't like them to end up. So what can we do about that? If I said that one source and one community is our philosophy of making vodka, I believe that one world is the place that we need to care about. It's easy to say that that is the responsibility of somebody else. It's, it's far away, it's not in Aarhus, it's not close to us. But if nobody cares, we will not have a one world to leave to our children. So I think this is super, super important to take responsibility. So uh, I'm, I'm really hoping that some of you guys will take on this challenge to make a bottle of vodka without any packaging material. So uh, good luck, guys, and see you again on Sunday. Thank you.